In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a couple of features of the Mobile Expense Management Module. They are the approval and rejection of expense reports. These features can be used by approvers that are responsible for approving or rejecting expense reports. With the mobile application, the approver can perform these tasks using their mobile device from anywhere they can make a phone call. I will be using an iPhone for today's demonstration, but remember, you can also use BlackBerry and Android devices as well as the iPad. So let's get started. As you can see, I have added the expense management icon to my iPhone's desktop, so all I need to do is tap on it to get it started. This is the user authentication screen for our mobile applications. All you need to do is type in your standard JD Edwards user ID and password to get started. You tap the login button. The security model actually uses our standard JD Edwards security. So I'm signing in as an approver so I can approve and reject expense reports. Here's the expense management home screen. As you can see, we have three separate menu options for expense management, as well as a very nice pie chart. This demonstration will be for the approve expense reports functionality. Since my role is an approver, my pie chart gives me the information on my employees' expense reports. If I was not an approver, the graph would only show my expense reports. To approve or reject expense reports, you can either tap on the Approve Expense Reports menu item or tap in the area of the graph showing the reports in the Approver status. So I've just tapped on the graph. So this next screen that shows up is a list of all the expense reports that are awaiting my approval. I'm going to review the first expense report on my list, and to do so, all I have to do is tap on it. As you can see at the top, there has been at least one exception item on this report. If I want to review the expense exceptions, I can also scroll up and see that, oh, this report actually has two of them. So I want to see what this car rental is all about. So I just have to tap on the little carrot here, and it shows me the detail behind the report. So for this example, this employee already gave me a heads up that he had a couple of items on his report that were an exception and I've decided to go ahead and accept the report. All I need to do is tap on the approve button and then I get this little approval confirmation window and I press approve again. So once the approval is processed I will actually see the next report in the list for approving. So this is the next one for Cliff Miller. I could just have easily canceled my approval if I decided not to do it. So once I'm here, there are some buttons here at the top, and I can actually scroll through all of the other reports awaiting my approval. So I'm actually going to stop here at Marilyn Barrett. She also has an exception on her report. So I'm going to go in and look at it. So here's a meals expense that's exceeded its amount. And you can, no, oh, that's okay. But what I see here, though, is that she's charged a meal to a work order, and I don't think this is necessarily appropriate, so I'm going to go ahead and reject this expense report. So all I need to do is tap on the Reject button, and then I select the reason, and then I can type in a comment. So I'm going to, to let her know this should not be charged um, to a work order. When I'm done with that, I just go back up here and I confirm my rejection. So once the confirmation of my rejection has been processed, I'll go back to the next report in the list. So I'm done with this task for right now, so I'm just going to go and press the Reports button to go back to my main list. And as you can see, the two reports that the one that I approved and the one I rejected are no longer in my list. You'll also notice that there, we have buttons here that say Home and the other one said Reports. You won't see a back button on our screen. The buttons will always be labeled with the information of where you're going to go to next. So as you can see from this demo, it's very simple to use all this new functionality. 
So be sure to view the additional video on how to enter an expense report. And I hope you're as excited about this new functionality as we are. Thank you for your attention.